right, everybody. It's your favorites, Ghost Whale Thing, back with another video to touch base on what happened yesterday. Yes, more drama. Um, I was asked to bring some information to light to back up what I had to say, as well as responding to the Twitter message I got from Miss Sticks instead of Mr. Sticks himself. So, we're going to go through the message. We're going to go through what he had to say and the real reason behind these videos of mine. And we're going to get into this because it's going to be a long video. We'll start off with the message. Hey, Tony, this is Miss Sticks, the other half of MMO Byte. I figured I'd be the one to message you post hearing the video and the anger you have towards Sticks. I really don't care about Sticks, to be honest. I just want to stop there and clarify that. What I do care about is how he treats friends of mine, content creators, and the community of Toph. Okay? That's what we don't like. Firstly, the point of this DM is to apologize for raiding into your community a few days ago. Had we known you didn't want it, we wouldn't have intruded on your space. First of all, anybody's more than welcome to come hang out. I, you know, like, I've never stopped anybody from wanting to come hang out. But I've never been raided by you. And I don't know where this came from. I don't think I've ever been raided by you. So, don't know where that came from. Anyways, nextly, his off-the-cuff comment was in regards to just the names. He finds names funny and comments on names a lot, including IRL ones. Well, Mr. Sticks, it's glad to know that you're a dick IRL as well. That's great. If you're worried of his opinion of VTubers, I'm actually becoming one because I'm very shy and he supports this. And he stated, VTubing would be great for you. I can... I commend you for that. I think it would be great for you as well, if, especially if you're shy. Um, I think that would be amazing because it's a lot of fun. And VTubing changed my life. But here, his, here are his real opinions on VTubers. Shy Lily is a VTuber? Oh. Well, there you go. I know absolutely nothing about VTubers. I've never watched a VTuber in my life. But yet you followed me until recently. Uh, people have sent me VTuber, uh, like, clips. And they're always like, ha, look at what this VTuber said. And I look at it, and they're like, hey, look. Oh, I don't look at it. Sorry, I play, like, two seconds of the clip. And they're like, now look at this VTuber clip. A completely different VTuber. I play, like, a second or two, and I'm like, they sound exactly the same. How can you differentiate other than visually between like the seven different VTubers you sent me messages of? Maybe if you took the chance to educate yourself on VTubers, you would know that every VTuber brings a different personality to the table. That's how it's different. They all have the same squeaky high-pitched voice, anime girl voice. Oh. I'm glad I have an anime Power girl voice. Yeah. Ooh, woo! You should become a VTuber? Dude, no. No, that, no. Why, no. Mrs. Six can become a VTuber, though, if she wants to. I agree. I think that'd be great for you. Save her having to put on makeup for stream. Ooh. <laughs> you know that's why they do it, though, right, chap? That's why VTubers are VTubers. It's so they don't have to put on makeup. That's the sole reason behind being a VTuber. And the reason why males become VTubers is because they don't want to have to put on pants. Because you can't go through like a six hour stream without needing to go take a piss, so... Being a VTuber just solves that problem. First of all, that's just a plus, okay? That's just a bonus. You don't know, I could be naked right now. You would never know. Think about it. Next time you come watch me live, you're going to wonder if I'm naked or not. Uh, Cloudscape. Okay, so I want to touch base on that uneducated and ignorant conversation. First of all, you have no idea why somebody decided to be a VTuber. I, however, will tell you my story. I went through a point in my life where I was severely depressed. I gained a ton of weight. I had a thyroid issue. I'm a short king and I weighed 
220 pounds, okay? I looked like a freaking ball that you would roll to your destination. So I decided that I wanted to stream, and I'm going to use a model, and it changed my life. VTubing changed my life in a very good way. I've met amazing people. I've met amazing friends. I've had the time of my life streaming on Twitch. I'm a freaking ghost whale that can do flips. Okay? But the thing is, I did it because I have self-esteem issues. That's why a lot of people do this. Not just because they don't want to put on makeup. And no, they don't all sound the same. And everybody brings a different personality, personality to the table. So educate yourself. Before making yourself look stupid and just saying ignorant things. Okay? <sighs> we apologize if you took offense to his dumb jokes. He is dumb. But we will also, as you stated, stated not fuck off from playing a game and covering it. Play whatever game you want. Matter of fact, we would love for you to play Tower Fantasy. The more the merrier. What we don't want is people coming into our community and disrespecting our content creators just because they have less subs than you. They work just as hard as anybody else to provide positive content for the community to keep us well informed. We would love to see you do that too. We don't care if you bring to light issues that need to be worked on, but show some positives. Stop clickbaiting, okay? Now, back to what the, the disrespect to our content creators. Brian, throw that clip in, okay? One from yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, roll it. Porto right now. I feel like bad for content creators like Koro, Chaos Prime, Meiji, Chico, Amika. Dude, this sounds like a whole list of like, you know, people that you'd find on the curb uh, late at night when you're out around downtown looking for a little something extra. So, we have covered Toph before its release and his only complaint and on videos were about the mismanagement. Also, false. Go watch his videos. Asmin as well. I think Asmin would enjoy the game in the state it is now. People who are making these comments and these videos truly have not played the game since release, including Mr. Styx himself, Mr. Level 32 with blue armor, not even in Vera at the point. Like, completely lost. You can tell by the way you play that you don't play this game. So you come in and make these videos shitting on the game that you don't even play. Asmin played for a bit at launch and spent money, but I guarantee if he came back now, he may have a different opinion. Or he may not. I don't care what your opinion is. It's the disrespect. We unfortunately got bombarded by hateful folks from the community like we never have by any other community on these videos covering the flaws of this game. They even sought me out and bullied me in-game, and I don't even do videos. And no, we didn't cover it as it happened in Solo 2, and it just made it worse for me. So yes, that does become our opinion of the community because this is all we get to see even when I tried changing my name to Hyde. As you can probably tell in the comments on your video, they like to suggest we should get ganged up on etc etc and violence is usually suggested and the toxicity circle is complete. There's no violence suggested. What's suggested is for people to stand up and not let you bully our community and our content creators. And there's nothing wrong with calling somebody out. So, go look at the comments yourself. In regards to your Blue Protocol Reddit comment, he actually barely touches it, and it's run by the Blue Protocol loving community. It's in the rules on what can be posted and how often to keep the Reddit from being a huge self-promotion line of topics like the other one. He adheres to this too and doesn't post his video since he made this rules years ago and leaves it for other content creators to post. Yet, we find him deleting other content creator posts. I mean, he did it to Gadio like a year ago. I mean, there's proof of that on the internet. Go check out the VOD from GateStream yesterday. Right? I'm going to keep bringing this shit up. This is my only interaction with Sticks. He personally... Like, I mean, obviously, this is... He's the only moderator of this subreddit. Okay? This guy, he's the, the sole moderator of the subreddit. 
So he personally removed my PV post way back uh, over a year ago. And then he basically like blah, 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 all this shit. I, I've, I've said this multiple times. Okay. And then so basically he tried to gatekeep me. This guy tried to gatekeep me last year. Anyways, we realize you're past the point of talking based on your anger we heard in your voice and telling us to fuck off. But wanted to at least address a couple things and apologize to you. Well, I appreciate the apology, but... It's whatever at this point. We wish you luck in your streaming videos and life. I'll sign on to Twitch tomorrow and remove the follow I dropped for your cute whale so we don't actually write again. Once again, I have never, ever, ever, ever been rated by MMO Bytes. Ever. And especially not recently. So you must have me confused with some other VTuber that sounds the same as me and that may or may not be wearing pants at the moment. Before I go, lastly, I would like to watch one more clip with you guys. Because this is the one that even pushed it over the edge. In this video, he disrespects our content creators saying that we're making the wrong videos and that people only want to see hate videos and they like the drama. So let's see what he has to say. It feels so sad that there are very few Tower of Fantasy YouTube content creators. I wonder why that is! And most of them have very low views, like 100 to 500 views. Not even 1,000 views, most of them. I feel very sad for them because they trying to do something yet not so appreciated by Tower of Fantasy community. Meanwhile, our Doom poster Stiggs gets all the views. Huh? What's up? Yeah, look at oh, this. I do. I I get all the views. Yeah. Myself. Let's let hold. Oh, let me open up Tower of Fantasy real quick. All right. Twelve thousand, thirteen, twenty-five, twenty, fifteen, thirteen, fifty, thirty, thirteen, ten, twenty-five, fifty, seventy-six, twenty, sixty-five, twenty-five, ninety, twenty-five, forty. They're not wrong. They're not wrong. Cease gets all the views, which discourages the hard work of these content creators. No, it doesn't. It does. So it does take away. And it does discourage content creators. Because. We got people like you who only cover this negativeness of the game. And what's so wrong with this game? And why this game is dying? And this is the last chance for tough. To do something. 3.0 is huge. And if they fail, it's it's all over. And it's, EO, it's fucking end of service. When in reality, you're discouraging people who may even potentially want to get into the game. Because they see a video like yours. Instead of a video of the new character coming out. And the best way to build them. What constellations to pull. Etc, etc. So next time you report on a video. Instead of... Doom posting it like you do all the time. Why don't you include some of the things that improved from the beginning to now? Oh, wait, I'm sorry. You haven't even got to endgame. And by the way, we all know that an MMO is all about endgame and the path to endgame. And all of that's improved. There is negativeness, but there's a lot more positiveness and a lot of changes that help not only new players, low spenders, free to plays, and whales. And the best part of Tower Fantasy is the community. And the problem we have is you coming into it and destroying people's like just hard work. When you talk bad about these content creators, you don't even know. Just because what? You're bigger than them? Use your community to do something good for the game. To discourage other people from making content, just make the same content. Oh, yeah. Let's all doom post. Like, Everybody, if, I, like, listen, let's, guys, let's, if you guys, on. guys, if you guys want to make it on YouTube right now, start a channel and start doom posting why Ashes of Creation is going to fail, why Blue Protocol is going to fail, why uh, Riot's MMO is going to fail. That's how we do it, boys.
Forget the hot tub streams. Make the Doom Post videos. Tower of Fantasy dying. Why Tower of Fantasy failed? Why Genshin won? Why did Tower of Fantasy die? How Tower of Fantasy died? A year ago, Tower two months ago, five months ago. Keep up? Literally, like, there are so many videos, like, From this months game ago. is dead, this game Five is months, dying, one month, right? seven months. And all. they all get views. Yeah. The reason why... <laughs> These people are getting a hundred views. It's because they're making the wrong kind of videos. <laughs> wow. That's it. Make videos people want to watch. Wow. At the end of the day, people want to know that the game isn't doing as well as people are making it out to be. At the end of the day, people want all that juicy drama. People want to know all the shit that's happening with the game. Oh, More wow. people want a game to fail than there are people that want a game to succeed. That is the sad, disgusting truth. <laughs> you, sir, are a complete jackass. You, sir, don't give a shit about the gaming communities. And all you want is your clicks and the money from the clicks. So, when I say fuck off, I mean, leave the community alone. Stop disrespecting our content creators and stop taking away from the hard work that they put in. You, sir, are just a real jackass. And once again, politely, I'll say this politely to you, Mr. Sticks. Not Mrs. Sticks, but to you, sir. Kindly. Fuck off. All right, everyone. That's it for today. I just want to say thank you guys so much for sticking around until the end. And if you found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up, sub to the channel, hit that bell mark, get notified anytime we upload a new video. If you want to check me out live, I'll be over on Twitch. The link will be in the description, or you can just follow the URL on screen. Come see some BP in action live. Thank you guys so much. Have a good day.